Hello and welcome to another episode of my Working with Apple series and today's episode is all about iOS 15 and Apple Notes because there have been some tremendous updates in Apple Notes particularly for the iPad with Quick Notes and some other amazing stuff that comes with that. So that's what I'm going to show you this week. Now before we go into Apple Notes, I'd just like to say if you do get any value from this video, then please help me by clicking on that like button below. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet and you want to get all the latest tips, tricks and news on using Apple's productivity apps, then please subscribe to my channel. Okay, let's go into Apple Notes on my iPad now and I'm going to show you some amazing new tricks that you can do with Apple Notes. Okay, first up, what I really want to show you is this here, which is a widget that you can put onto your home screen of your iPad or even your iPhone. But the most important thing is this one here, which is a smart folder that I call my current work. Now, it's really quite simple to set it up. When I click on that, this is my smart folder. So this is the work that I'm currently work on. These are the most important things. But here, what I want to show you is if I actually long press, I want to show you the way this is set up. This is actually just set up from the widgets as my current work. So every time I open up my iPad, I get a reminder of what work I am currently working on. Now, as you may have noticed, I have about 10 things in my current work folder. These are the last three things that I put in there. But these are the things that I want to work on. And I just really like being able to see that. It's like a constant reminder of what I've actually got that I'm currently working on. Okay, let's move into Safari first. I want to show you something here. Now, this is a blog post that I wrote a while ago about areas of focus. And what I wanted to do is just show you a couple of things. So what I wanted to do in this case, let's just say I'm doing some research. This is the, the thing that I'm actually working on. Notice I don't have uh, my notes open just yet because I don't need to have them. Now what I can do is if I just long press on that and I can highlight this uh, this section here, I can now add quick note, make a quick note. Now what you'll notice is when I unhighlight that, that's now highlighted. But I've also got one here which I actually did a few, I, this shouldn't be here because when I was testing <laughs> that wasn't highlighted. What I'm going to do is just move my quick note to the side. I'm going to highlight this and say this is another part of my research. If I add to Quick Notes, there you go. It's now added to my Quick Notes. Let's move that out of the way. And now if I just go into a completely different blog post, so we'll just click on my blog here, and we'll go to a different how to set your long-term goals. So this is a completely different blog post, as you can see, nothing highlighted there. But if I just pull in my, my Quick Note here and say, oh, I need to go back, what did I add? If I tap on that, it will now take me back to the original uh, URL, the, the web page. But look at what happened. When I scroll down here, I'll move this to um, up there to that side. If I scroll down, you'll see that those sections there are still highlighted. And that will be, so if you're ever doing any research, you can add these into here. So let's just go into how long to set long-term goals. Uh, again, I'm going to move that to this side and just go let's uh, let's just tap on this and let me highlight this as part again as part of my so add to quick notes so now that's been added down here so it's on the same note so this is could be all my research and i love that layout that i've got here which is my highlighted sections are right there that is just super super useful when you're using your notes so let's just click done that's now out of the way and again if you notice it's not highlighted there but if I just bring up a quick note, I can scroll back to this one and there it becomes highlighted again. So I just love the fact that I can do that. Now, if you're wanting to know how to uh, engage your quick notes, all you need to do is just drag up from the bottom here. From uh, You can't see me doing that. But if you drag up from the bottom right hand corner, so drag up from down here, you can now you can bring up quick notes. Now, for me, I've got mine set up as 
a new note each time I cre create it. Uh, but I can just scroll through to see if I'm doing research, for example. I can just scroll through and go back to that one. Now, something else that I want to highlight here is I'm in a web page here. This is how to set your long-term goals. Now, I can now click on this section here, add link, and that's going to put the website into there. And then I can make notes in here. So this is a very interesting, it really is, uh, blog post. So I can do something like that. By the way, if you want to create the title from this, if I just drop down, I can go in here, read this article. And I can just go in there and you can, you sorry, you can, you can do whatever you like. But once I've done that, I can just click done. Now let's go back into my notes here. So click on there. Let's go into my quick notes. So I've now created two quick notes. Now, by the way, I've got this set up as a, to see this in grid view if you go into the three dots up here i can view notes by um i can actually make these larger so i can see it much clearer there's quite a few things that you can actually do from there which is i think really rather cool so anyway what i want to do now is if if you want to go into your quick notes i can click in here and then if i go there and you'll see immediately that it brings up that web page. It's just really, really good. Now, the thing is, I've had a look at doing this in Apple Mail, and I've not been able to do it. You can't really do this in Apple Mail, which is a shame. But that said, if I go into my mail, I've got one here. Let's just do that. And if I just bring up, bring up my quick notes, I can say, new reply to comment, add link. So you can see that I'm looking at this email. I can click on add link, and immediately it's put that email in there for me. So there is a way of adding email directly from your notes. And I really, really love how you can do this, particularly on the iPad. The iPad is turning into one hell of a productivity machine. Now, when I go back to my notes, let's just go back into my notes here. You see that, uh, oh, I didn't save that. Let's just bring, let's just go back here and done. And whoo, where's it gone? Oh, go back here. And that email is now there. And there you go. I've got that email. I can click on that and it will take me directly to that email, which I just think is brilliant for when you're working in Apple Notes. So there's a lot that you can do. Now, there is one more and I did cover this before, but I really want to emphasize how easy it is now to get a link to a note. So let's just click on this note here. I want to go into there and I want to share this note. So I'm going to click on share. And what I can do is, where's it gone? Where's it gone? If I go, <laughs> it's still not set up. If I go along to the three dots here and I can look down here, copy link. So copy link. And what you'll see is I can actually email this to somebody. So I can just click add an email. But the most important thing, and the, to me, the biggest change, because I use, when I'm using my task manager, I like to be able to link directly to the note. I can just copy the link. And now I can paste that into my task manager of choice. And that will just take me directly to this note when I need to see it. So there's just some quick overview of some of the great new tools that you have available in Apple Notes. This is now turning into just an unbelievable productivity tool. And it's certainly one that if you're wanting to build your very own Apple productivity system around all Apple's productivity apps, then this is now making life so much easier. Well, thank you very much for watching this episode. And it just remains for me now to wish you all a very, very productive week. Well, thank you very much for watching this video. Now, if you want to take your Apple productivity systems to the next level and you want to bring in your calendar, your reminders, your iCloud and your Apple Notes all together into one beautiful productivity system, then please take a look at my Create Your Own Apple Productivity System course. It's completely updated for Mac OS Big Sur and iOS 14 and it's readily available now. All you need to do is pop over to my learning center, get yourself enrolled and within about 90 minutes to two hours you're going to have yourself the know-how to build your very own Apple productivity system. I hope you join me in this course. This course now includes how to set up the Apple system using the time sector system so you get a modern day time management system 
fit for the world that we live in today and the world that we're probably about to move into next year in 2021, 2022. Okay, thanks very much for watching this video and I really do hope you join me in this course.